Australia's second most populous state, the epicenter of the country's latest COVID-19 outbreak, said on Friday it expects to soon report just double-digit daily rises in new infections as a stringent lockdown shows this slows down the spread of the virus. Victoria State said it has detected 113 new cases in the past 24 hours, unchanged from the previous day and well below the one-day recorded of 725 cases in early August. Authorities said they expect numbers to fall below 100 as soon as the weekend. The country has now recorded nearly 25,500 COVID-19 infections, while the death toll rose to 584 after 12 people died in Victoria. The, the way I'd put it is, you know, at, at 113 cases, this is very much like a public health bushfire. Uh, and you know, we're getting close to putting it out. Uh, if we were to reopen at 113 while the fire's still going, not smouldering, actually still burning, then it'd only be a matter of time before it got uh, away from us again. We're clearly still uh, trending in the right direction. Uh, it's, uh, it's not got, gotten below 100 yet. Uh, I do expect that to happen, um, if not over the weekend, by next week. Uh, if trends continue, uh, we obviously have to uh, hold the course here. I think, it, I think it is helpful from a psychological point of view. We're all going to have a kind of internal celebration to see it in, into double figures. Uh, but no, it doesn't make a huge material difference. It's just a sign. Uh, if we get there, and I hope we do, uh, that we're still heading in the right direction and that it is a consequence of all the hard, hard yards that we've done individually and collectively to, um, uh, to minimise our contact with others that, that's driving this down. Thank you.